Hey there, Willowbrook, and Happy New Year, and welcome to our deep dive. I'm just enjoying a cup of coffee. And as I did, I was thinking about my coffee mug. Um, I don't always think about my coffee mug, but recently um, I had an experience with our women's ministry staff where we went and took like a pottery or a ceramics class and they taught us in this class. In fact, they brought out this clay slab and they taught us how to cut out and, and shape and, and make, make a handle and how to connect the handle to the cup and, and how to smooth out the top. And they, they taught us all these things and we made our own mugs. In fact, I don't even have it yet. It's still at the shop because it has to go in the fire and do all these steps afterwards. But since I did that, all of a sudden, I've been appreciating the mugs that I drink from more and more because I realized that somebody had to cut and shape and, and put together and, and choose the colors and all of these things for the, the mug that I drink out of every morning. And I was thinking about that as I was looking at our passage for our deep dive today, because we're in Genesis chapter two, and we've seen that God has created so many things to this point. He's made light and dark. He's made fish. He's made animals. He's made the water. He's made all of these things. When we get to Genesis chapter two, and God now is creating man. He, he's bringing humanity into the picture. And I, I got to verse seven of chapter two and I realized, wait a second, man is not that different than this. Check it out. Verse seven, then the Lord God formed the man out of the dust of the ground. Well, that's kind of how this was formed. It, it was formed from dirt, the, the dust of the ground, the clay, it was formed from that. It, uh, just like man, it says that God took the dust and he formed and made man. But then there's one giant, huge difference. Keep reading. And breathed the breath of life into his nostrils and the man became a living being. Now, I'm not an expert potter. I haven't made lots of ceramics, but I have made one at least recently. You know what I didn't do? I didn't breathe life into the coffee mug that I made. This coffee mug is lifeless. It, it's made from the same thing that you and I are made from, dirt dust from the ground, but it says that God breathed the breath of life into man and made him a living being. This is significant because first, we need to acknowledge that uh, apart from God, we have no more life than this coffee mug. Uh, we, we can form and we can make things, but we can't make life. And God here is showing us that he is utterly responsible for every breath, for every heartbeat. And I, I wonder, in fact, I'm fairly certain that, that most of us take for granted the, the breath we breathe, we, we don't think about it. Uh, we, we take for granted the beating of our heart and the very life that we have. So today, what if we're struggling with contentment or, or we're struggling with whatever's around us and, and we know that Scripture tells us to be grateful, to be thankful in all circumstances. What if we made this our place of gratitude? What if we thought through and took 
in a breath, the breath of life that God has granted us. And, then, and even ask him, God, in the right now, how can I be grateful? How can I be thankful? Because we need to acknowledge that apart from him breathing life into us, we're just lifeless. And he is always offering us life, abundant life. And sometimes it comes through the things that don't feel good. But we can thank him for the life he's given us and trust him, lean into him for the life that he wants to continue to offer us. Willowbrook, I love you. I hope that you'll have a happy Wednesday.